SketchUp can be a very powerful 3D modeling software. However, one of the places it falls short is in the area of organic modeling. This toolset creates an all new functionality in SketchUp, the ability to edit vertices. Plugin name, Vertex Tools. Plugin developer, TomTom. Tom. Cost, plugin costs $20 to purchase, but comes with a 30 day trial. One of the limits of a regular SketchUp installation is the fact that it's really a line and face editor, not a vertex editor. This means you can really only edit the lines and faces, but it's not set up to edit the vertices, or the points where the lines intersect. You can use sandbox tools to do this, but you run into both limited functionality and also instability. This toolset is specifically designed to help you edit vertices, giving you the ability to create organic models in a way that really isn't possible in a regular SketchUp installation. Where do you get it? You can get it in the Extension Warehouse, in SketchUp, or from the Sketchication Store. This plugin does cost $20. If you're a Sketchication Premium member, you get a 20% discount. What this plugin does is allow you to edit surfaces by moving the intersections between lines. This allows you to create things like terrain or organic models very easily. To start, the plugin contains several helpful selection tools for selecting vertices. You can select vertices by square, circle, polygon, or freehand. Anyone who's used the sandbox tools before will appreciate how easy these tools are to use. To use these tools, you have to activate the plugin by clicking on the Vertex Tools toolbar. This will open up Vertex Editing Mode. While you're in this mode, you won't be able to select lines. You'll just be able to select vertices, which is very helpful when working with the intersections between points. This tool allows you to move vertices along axes, rotate vertices, or scale them all using the built-in tool, the gizmo. This tool allows both hard selection and soft selection. Hard selection means that all selected vertices move and all the ones around them don't. Soft selecting means that moving selected points also affects surrounding points, which helps you create nice organic shapes. In addition to modifying existing vertices, you can use the insert vertices function to easily add new vertices to your faces. Or you can merge vertices into a single point using the merge vertices function. Ratings. Usefulness and functionality, 5 out of 5. This extension is a must-have for organic modeling. It gives SketchUp a completely new set of functions that make organic modeling easy and fun. Value, 5 out of 5. While this plugin isn't free like many of the plugins we talk about here, $20 is a small price to pay to add organic modeling functions to SketchUp. To put it in perspective, think about how much money you'd have to pay for a program like 3ds Max or another 3D modeling editor in order to have a lot of these functions. It's really not a lot of money to pay to get this functionality. Ease of use and documentation, 4 out of 5. The tools are fairly easy to use. It would be nice to see some more tutorials somewhere, maybe walking you through the creation of various items, or just showing you some different examples of the way things work. But if you watch some of TomTom's videos on his YouTube channel, you can figure it out. The learning curve is just a little steeper because it's not spelled out there step by step right in front of you. So overall score, 14 out of 15. 
One of the places where SketchUp's always been lacking is in the area of organic modeling. This extension gives you a quick, easy to use tool set that gives you this functionality. There's also a free 30 day trial, so make sure to go check it out. That's where we're going to wrap up this plugin overview. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button down below. If you're new around here, uh, make sure you click the subscribe button. There's new SketchUp videos, tutorials, and plugin reviews coming out every week, and uh, I'd love to have you join us for those. As always, leave a comment below. Let me know if you're using this tool, how you're using it, if you like it, and some of the other tools that you're using that you'd like to see videos on. So once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.